Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to look at CMAT PYQs on profit and loss topic. So profit and loss topic is an important topic and about uh, six to eight questions have appeared in uh, previous uh, few years uh, exam. So we are going to look at all the questions uh, from profit loss topic that have appeared in CMAT 2018 to CMAT 2022. Now I have also provided a detailed video link in the description. So in case if you are looking for detailed preparation on percentage profit loss SICI topic. So I have released one more video. So do check that link in case if you are looking for complete preparation. However, if you are just willing to check the previous year questions on profit loss, then this video, this short video is fairly sufficient. So let's go ahead and let's understand. So we are going to look at, uh, you know, all the previous year questions like this. And uh, before we proceed, just want to quickly tell you that this massive offer is going on on an Academy Plus and Iconic subscription. So in case if you are planning to prepare for CAT uh, 2023 or IPMAT kind of exams, you can go for an Academy Plus or Iconic subscription using this code chart 10 uh, more details uh, for more details you can check the link in the description where you will be able to see the pricing and features some features are highlighted over here about plus and iconic subscription so now let's look at uh, the profit loss uh, previous year questions and do let me know in the comment section how did you find the techniques that i've shown because i'll also show you some shortcuts to solve the questions and most of the cmat questions can be solved in about 30 40 seconds uh, whether it's from percentage or profit loss there are a couple of tricky questions so we'll look at that as well so do watch this video till the end and don't forget to hit the like button and do share it with all your friends as well so let's begin but try for this question so isn't this very simple question guys uh, the cost price is 80 percent of selling price you know selling price is 100 so they are saying cost price is 80 so definitely profit is 20 so what is the profit percentage CMAT 2022 question guys isn't that 25% profit because one fourth profit you are making right okay 10 seconds question look at this question once again CMAT 21 Mohan bought a trouser at 10% discount and sold it to Sohan at loss of 10% okay so suppose the mark price of the trouser was 100 so Mohan bought it at 90 and he sold it to Sohan at what price so 10 percent loss so 81 if sohan paid 729 now we are given value so just put x over here guys put x over here okay mark price was 100x so mohan bought it at 90x and sohan got it as 81x so in yeah this is equal to 729 so you can easily make out 81 into 9 is 729 so what should be the mark price it should be 100 900 you know so then what was the undiscounted price that is the mark price so it's 900 very easy question try for this question in fact a shopkeeper claims to sell rice at the cost price he uses a false weight with the intention of selling rice at 25 percent profit now hold on you really don't need to use that formula over here because this is a very easy question actually so he is making a profit of 25 percent can i say profit means increasing the cost price by 25 percent after selling rice to a customer, he realized that the customer has paid 10% less. So, matlab, customer has paid 10% less. So, it's like 10% reduction. Then what he should have paid? Okay. Then what is the actual profit percentage made by the shopkeeper? Okay. So, suppose shopkeeper bought it at 100. Then uh, he increased the price by 125 because he is making profit by 25% by that false weight. And customer paid 10% less. So just reduce 10% out of, out of this that is 12.5 is reduced so it will be 112.5. So finally customer must have paid 112.5. So what is his profit? 12.5%. We are done. It was this simple question. Okay. Look at this question. Now this is slightly tricky. And this is what I was talking about. Okay. In between out of 20 questions about 3 to 4 questions will be on the tricky side. So it may be from arithmetic. It may be from numbers. It may be from geometry or something, but geometry mensuration, it's mostly easy. So you will find in arithmetic or numbers or in algebra, some tricky question. Okay. So here is one such question by selling mangoes at the rate of 64 for rupees 20,000, the vendor loses 40%. Okay. The vendor loses 40%. Matlab, he is able to just recover 60% of cost. Do you all agree with this? Now, how many should he sell for 1,000 so as to gain 20%, right? Now guys, what you can do is you can pause the video over here and give a try by yourself and see what mistakes are you committing in case if you are not getting the correct answer. And then let me explain now. So guys, can I say my cost price, cost price 
for 64 mangoes let me just write over here number of mangoes and cost cost so for 64 mangoes my cost should be how much can i say 2000 divide by 0 0.6 because 60 percent of my cost is equal to this one only then i can lose 40 percent right okay so let me just simplify this can i say this is 20000 divide by 6 2000 divided by 0 0.6 is 20,000 divided by 6. Don't solve this one because the numbers are very convenient. Now what they are asking is how many should he sell for 1000 so as to gain 20%. Can I say if you are gaining 20% that means you are getting 120% of cost. So what should be your cost actually? Can I say your cost for, uh, we don't know the number of mangoes but you want to have cost as 1000 by 1.2 because it's 120 percent of cost so can i write down this as 10,000 by 12 10,000 by 12 now this is the cost that i want to have so how many mango should i give if i want to have this cost so let me divide this by 2 so this instead for 64 we are paying this cost so can i say for 32 we should be paying 10,000 by 6 the number of mangoes have become a half, the cost will also become a half. Further, let me divide by 2. So, can I say for 16 mangoes, I should be paying 10,000 divide by 12. And at this cost, this is the cost that I wanted. So, I should be giving only 16 mangoes. That's our answer. So, this was a little tricky question, guys. Give a try. But this question isn't that? I mean, you'll feel good when you solve such questions. You let me know in the comment section. Chalo, ek bar wapas dekh lena wo question Okay, this is again slightly tricky. Okay, so let's see how tackle karenge. A shopkeeper marks his books at 25% above the cost price. Okay, um, so yeah, let's assume uh, the quantity as 10 books and cost price as uh, 100. So he's making profit 25%. So 25 rupees is the profit and mark price is 125. Uh, marks his book at this price okay so guys what would be his total profit in this case what will be the total profit can we say he's making 25 rupees profit per book 25 per book so for 10 books he'll make total what 250 rupees profit yeah now due to slump in the market his cost reduced by five percent so now his new cost is 95 the number of books are 10 only his new cost is 95 to boost his sales he offered a discount of 8%. Now guys, he is offering a discount of 8%. Okay. So what is 8% of 125? Can I say it's 10? Very easy. 125 is a thousand by 110. Right. It is going to be 10 rupees. So now he is offering, he is selling the books at 115 rupees. So what will be his profit? 95 to 115, 20 rupees profit. Isn't that? Yeah. <coughs> Okay, but his sales has go, gone up by 25%. So guys, sale now is not 10, it is 12.5. So what will be his total profit? Can we say 12.5 into 20, it's going to be 250 rupees only. So there is no change in the sale. That's your answer. There is no change in the sale. Okay, so you should be able to tackle all such questions. So as I have always mentioned, guys, there is one section called GK. And as you know, more questions in GK are from static GK. So you can never be sure of that. But if you are well prepared with all the topics of quant, you can be 100% sure to get 80 out of 80 in the quant section. Okay, so work hard and make sure that you are solving all the questions correctly. A shopkeeper sells rice at the cost price but uses false weight. He gains 20% in this process. So what weight he used for one kilogram? Do you remember that error and profit percent? Profit percent is 20%. So can I say it's one fifth? So error should be one sixth, you know, one by N. So this will be one by N minus one. So error should be one sixth. That means for thousand grams, the error should be 166.66 grams. 66.66 grams because one sixth is this much. So what should be he giving to the customer? 8.833.33 grams he should be giving to the customers don't do all the calculations otherwise see if you go with normal method you will do it this way error upon true value which is thousand grams minus error 
into 100 percent is given as 20 and then you will solve this equation so you will get error as 133.33 and then you will find out 1000 minus this one don't do all these things just remember this relation it's always 